Hey y'all in 4-H and H here. I want you to hear an example of something that I preach on this channel all the time. Signal to noise ratio, work that S meter to the left. Okay, you've heard me say that. Uh, okay, there's, so there's a QSO going on here on 10 meters. 10 meters has been great lately. It's not as good today, but there's a good QSO going on. This gentleman here is on the West Coast. If you're working in the Netherlands, you can work anywhere. I right, listen to the other station. There's somebody in there. Now watch. Now you can hear him. Uh, yeah, I, I hear you. Pardon me. I do the same thing. I don't. When I have the hand mic for my two meter stuff, I don't talk directly into it. I always hold it to the side, like vertically. So I don't have it. I need to. And uh, intercept point optimization. There's a lot of people that over modulate the EVA. So that is the station in California. He's been S9. He's yeah. beginning to drop a little bit, but I'm, I'm looking at the uh, maximum usable frequency map over on my ham clock, and I'm seeing that 10 meters is going to be fading out completely out of the U.S. soon. Let me show you. There's the maximum usable frequency map. See the west coast of the U.S. Uh, there's a green dot there that I put that I put there earlier, checking propagation, and uh, there's just a little bit of orange left there in Southern California. Uh, as a matter of fact, California is about the only state left right now that 10 meters has coverage to. IPO. Oh yeah, no, I actually I'm on a Heil, uh, his uh, Bob Heil's uh, PR40, uh, and uh, it's uh, I think it's a broadcast mic. I'm not quite 100 percent sure, but I've had this mic for five six years, and uh, yeah, they're fading out uh, now. I, I, mean, I may be using coverage. Uh, uh, all the way around, and it's getting uh, you know I made it up to the. Okay, so the 10 meter band is, I'm losing it. I'm glad I got that in there when I did. But you got to hear what I was talking about. I actually turned off AMP 1, enabled intercept point optimization, IPO, which lowers the sensitivity of the receiver. But what happened was, is I knocked more noise out than I did signal, and I was able to pull out what that guy was saying right on the hairy edge there. So... Uh, yeah, that just gave me a quick opportunity to show you, you know, you, you know me on this channel. I try to keep it real. I try to show you real world conditions. So uh, now he's, this guy's coming back up a little bit. The bands play a little trick, but I guarantee you that's about to go. He was S9 five minutes ago, right before I grabbed the camera, as a matter of fact. Um, and I mean, he was S9 when I was using Amp 1. So let me go back to Amp 1. Yeah, see, he's even dropped now to S4, S5. So we're losing the band. I'll try another antenna right quick. That's my doublet. Now, see, it's my best antenna to the West Coast. But you got to see what I wanted you to see. Work that S meter to the left. Use that intercept point optimization. That is your first line of defense to improve signal to noise ratio. It does more. Now, people would say, well, use your attenuator first. No. The attenuator does not do anything except squash the signal strength that's coming in off the antenna. The intercept point optimization changes the gain structure. It also improves your selectivity a little bit, but it also will, you know, when you've got an amplifier turned on, amp one, amp two, you're just, you're pulling in a lot more noise. Only use those when you absolutely have to. Uh, the best thing to do is start with IPO, and if that's good enough, leave it there. You got other tools too. The di I do have the digital signal processing, the digital noise reduction enabled. I have it currently set at five. I run that all the time between three and five. Um, and you could also use contour if you need to. The contour filter I've covered on the channel. But even there, right there, all I did was intercept point optimization. And I was able to hear both sides of that cue so uh, for a while until now even the strong station is fading. Well, I hope you found the video helpful and informative. Thank you for uh, watching videos on my channel. And especially, I thank the Patreon team members who make these videos possible uh, to operate a channel like this with no advertisers, uh, no financial support other than private support. 
uh, well, I wouldn't be able to do this. So if you would, please hang around for another half uh, minute. I want to recognize five of the what I call the Patreon team long haulers. These are people that have supported this channel for a year, two, and even three now. Uh, without them, you wouldn't be watching this video or some other around 450 other videos. And I think I'm over up to over 600 uh, on the channel now across 50 plus playlists. So if you haven't checked out all the other playlists, you're missing out. 73 from N4 H&H. &H.